we had an asking for a spider. So chat, this spider that I have for you guys ready to go is 30. Three zero million years old. It is preserved in amber. So it is not as old as the dinosaurs, but still older than any modern human. If you think about human evolution, this is much, much older of a specimen. Uh, and the spider that I have for us to look at is actually a jumping spider, um, which I think is really, really cool. So let me go ahead and fire up the microscope. We actually have two microscopes on either side of me. I was using the other microscope uh, when we were looking at the butterfly antenna um, because that is a light microscope for looking at slides. And this is a dissecting microscope. So this microscope allows us to look at 3D objects. And as you guys will imagine, spiders are pretty 3D as well as um, they're not mount this one's not mounted in a slide. The amber is also really 3D in structure. So let me go ahead and find, we also have a bunch of other samples. Um, we have beetles in amber. I have woolly mammoth hair we can look at, um, termites. Uh, flies, ants, because we are science, crane flies, you name it, we might actually have it. Let me find the spider. We also have pollen for you guys interested in pollinators. Uh, bees. And we also, if you guys come back on, usually on Mondays, we do microscopy Mondays, where we uh, play a little bit of detective work um, and try to identify. Uh, what our unknown pieces of amber uh, have in them. So we have our detective feline fancy here in chat. We have Cliff Alistair McLean, Algaho, Zint House are some of our regulars that try to ID brand new samples that we have no idea what they are, but we look at image them at different regions. Um, it's really, really exciting. Let me go ahead and find, while I'm looking, here is our woolly mammoth hair. This mammoth hair is actually gotten from those Siberian samples that were frozen in, like we're saying, in Siberia. Um, 10,000 years old, clipping from a woolly mammoth, which I think is pretty freaking gnarly, if I do say so myself. Um, it's one of my favorite samples. I know it is, so Petri, I know it's just hair, and it's just hair, but it is hair from a woolly mammoth, right? And so being able to see it up close, I think is really, really cool. Um, cause I don't know where else you would be able to see a woolly mammoth hair. Do we have anything cool feet to look at? Like web feet. Ooh, Petri, Petri, I don't have any web feet, unfortunately. I can try to make the spider jump at us, but nothing feet wise. We do have some pond water we can look at that have little organisms swimming around. Um, tardigrades are probably as close as we get to feet. Um, they do have tiny feet that they swim around. But here you can see the woolly mammoth hair. Those little black bits actually are where the tissue already started to decay. So remember these samples were flash frozen in the tundra in Siberia. Um, I think it's just super cool to see like how far along in that sample has come, right? But let's look at, you guys want the spider, so let's look at the spider. I just got excited by the, I get excited by the woolly mammoth hair chat. I think it's okay to be excited by it. But so this spider is a jumping spider. We'll try to make it jump at you. Almost looks like it has rubber bands. Yeah, it does. It's surprising, right, Petri? Like, put us on yellow alert. Hi, Carlos. Why are we on yellow alert, Carlos? Cause Amber, gotcha. Whatever. Carlos gets it. I gotcha, Carlos. How are you doing today, Carlos? Let's see, that is the underside. Let's look at the top, maybe. I feel like I have one other spider too. We have got a couple of them. But there is our little spider. Let me adjust the lighting for you guys. And I can actually change the color as well. So the color right now is this very bright yellow. We can change that and tell the software what we deem as white. And so we just tell the software that yellow is actually white. And now you can see a little bit more of the true color of what it might be. It's still a little bit obscured. Um, so don't take it 
totally as this is what would be. Looking at something noisy to make my entrance. I, Carlos, I thought yet you did yellow alert because we were looking at Amber, my friend. Which I would have been like, that's clever and I love it. But noisy is also good, Carlos. How are you doing today? Okay, we're doing well. Um, let's see. I've got one other spoiler here as well that we can look at. to all these ants and flowers. Uh, do we know if the sp spiders are a good source of protein? So, what kind, Petri? Yes, it's a spider, Master Carlos. Some spiders, uh, most insects, are a pretty good source of protein. Um, this one in particular, this is probably this is closely related to a jumping spider for modern day animals. Um, I don't know how how protein filled this one might be. Uh, this one at this stage is probably long past its protein filled prime. But yeah, the stories it could tell Rip Chance. And we do have one sample, guys, if you're interested. Um, that's 90, nine zero million years old. That was around during the time of dinosaurs. Probably annoyed a few mammoths at this time. No, 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 no. Rip Chance, this is much older than the woolly mammoth sample. That woolly mammoth sample was about 10,000 years old. This is 30 million. This is around far before any any mammoth walked the earth. Which again, I think is really cool. You'd say, if you ate a modern day tarantula, you think it'd be a good source of protein? Probably. And most insects are pretty good sources of protein. You can see the underside of the spider pretty well. You can see the little legs. She is quite hairy. You see, we have we do have a scratch in the amber that's obscuring some of it, but there are the eyes, and you can see some of the sensory bristles coming off here. We should be. The built-in floss with the hairy legs, yeah. Big gaming. I think I missed your comment, but did the immune cell and antibody make sense? You said nice explanation. I just want to make sure. If you have any more questions, big gaming, just let me know. I want to make sure that it makes sense. It's not an easy topic. Um, I'm trying my best to make it as straightforward as I could, but it's never as straightforward as you want it to be. Here's the abdomen. Like as far as it is harmless now, as far as we know, it will not come back to life underneath the microscope. Um, possibly, maybe. Um, this is a female, so that's a female reproductive organ there, where she uses to lay her eggs. You can see she's kind of broken down and deteriorated on the inside, so we really just have the exoskeleton here um, that's together. Those little black bits inside of her are like decomposed parts of her body. Um, so you can see it, I think, really, really well in the legs. Normally these legs would be full of protein and tissue together here. But instead of being full, now you just have those empty little lines. Need to head, head, head up now. 5 a.m. tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Big Gaming. Limitations. What does that mean? Come. Sleep well, Master Gaming. Rip Chance. Thank you for that follow. Welcome into the colony officially. I appreciate that follow, my friend. Um, so, yeah, there's the little the internal structures here. And those are all like deteriorated at this point. They would be filled up. And same here, you can see there's little bits of black spots, and those are some of the tissues that have kind of come apart. All the confetti, Carlos. So they've kind of just deteriorated over time. Let's take a look at the top side of it too. We're trying to get a good look at the eyes because I think that's really one of the coolest parts of the spider. Hugin! Hi, Hugin. How are you doing today, Hugin? Turn inside, thank you for the rainbow. So here is the top view of the spider. Let's take a zoom in. There we go. And then we'll adjust the lighting as well. 
there we go you can see its eyes i think a little bit more readily here if i start moving around the sample the problem is it's it's like now resting flat so i can start moving it like up toward us to actually look at the screen and you can see the eyes better but then you'll see my hands shaking also it's a pretty thin sample so the way i hold it could obscure the light as well light intensity just been are quite yeah i know it turns out so this you normally would be totally yellow right and I've changed the color to tell the software what yellow is and what white is. And I told it that white is yellow, so you can actually see a little bit more of the color underneath here. Um, and it also helps clear it up a little so we can see, you all see there's bubbles. This is also just a byproduct of any hairy animal when it gets into something as viscous as tree sap, is it starts collecting bubbles in the hairs. And so those are all just because of how it was preserved. You see. The little bubbles throughout its body and then you can see its eyes which again i think those are super cool those are the insects compound eyes um pretty gnarly i think right chat and if we i can try to turn it towards us and see how it looks probably the best angle to get it at So now adjust the focus. Let's mess with the lighting a little bit. There you go, you guys can see the eyes. One, two, three, four. And then six, seven, eight are on the other side that we can't see from this particular angle, but they'd be located down on this little area here. And as you can see, it is quite hairy. It's a little red now in color because I'm holding it, so it's uh, the color of my hands coming through because the sample is pretty thin so you can see top of sample here bottom of sample here What do you guys think though? Pretty cool, right? Hope you guys like it spiders are pretty neat. I think It's a very neat jumping spider. And I don't know who asked for it, but ah, he asked for it to jump at you So there you go. There we have a, a jumping piece of amber 30 million year old amber jumping at you 